And finally, the warm summer months are leading to young people ignoring social distancing, which could be to blame for recent spikes of COVID-19 in a number of countries. Well, that's the warning from the World Health Organization, and Caleb Morpin has all the details for you. The chief of the World Health Organization of the United Nations urged young people not to let their guard down. Young people are not invincible. That's why young people must take the same precautions to protect themselves and protect others. The World Health Chief also pointed out that those who are most vulnerable when it comes to COVID-19 infections are elderly people who are in long-term care and that global efforts were being made to research what practices for long-term care for the elderly could be done to ensure their safety and put them at less risk of being infected. The World Health Organization recently established a technical advisory group for behavioral insights and sciences for health. Now, this is an organization that will essentially be looking into how people's activities and behaviors can be influenced in a way that puts them at less risk for spreading the pandemic. Now, the chair of this technical advisory group is none other than Cass Sunstein, a former top official of the Barack Obama administration in the United States. It's also worth noting that Cass Sunstein is married to Samantha Power, who was at one point the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations. Now, it's important to note that while Cass Sunstein, a former top official of the Obama administration, is playing a pretty pivotal role in the World Health Organization and its efforts amid the coronavirus pandemic, that the Trump administration has taken the recent move of distancing the United States from the World Health Organization. Clearly, within the circles of power of the United States, there are big differences when it comes to international efforts to combat the pandemic and the World Health Organization and the role of the entire United Nations. Caleb Moppin, RT, New York.